Morning everybody and welcome to another video on this windy weekend which is not all we're planning it's meant to be sunny but oh well here's what it is still dry that's the main thing but this is kind of a impromptu unplanned video that I'm going to be doing this weekend because god it is windy I'm really sorry like what happened with the spaces an opportunity has presented itself so what we're going to be doing today is dipping down to my friend Lee's who's he's got a red FN2 as well which is immaculate and he's just upgraded to a Tegua carbon bonnet. Now, he was selling his old bonnet, which, like I said, is immaculate. So, I'm gonna go up and have a look, nice look around his car, because that's gonna be cool to show you, and pick up a fresh bonnet. And you're thinking, Lewis, you've already swapped the bonnets over. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this all? I'll show you why. Come with me. Oh, before, first, before. Quick poppy check. They're blooming. When we first moved in, there were no poppies there. Second year, there was one, I think there was like three. And now like two years later, we're getting like a flock of these poppies. Brilliant. So this is the bonnet on the tie part. It pretty, looks pretty much fine in, in video. It is a bit dirty. But if you look up close, you've got things like this scratch here that's on the bonnet. Some other ones further up, like that. And then you've got these spots here that I've touched up previously, which obviously don't look great. And then you've got another scratch here. That's that's poop. Forget about that. And then just just like other bits and bats that's that's wrong with it. And even colour wise, it's hard to tell on camera, but that's the original wing, and that's the one off the diesel. And it is slightly different red. That's redder because I've polished it previously. So the fresh bonnet is going to go on this car, and that bonnet is going to go back on the diesel. And this is how bad this got. Jesus. So from patches to pretty much 50% of the bonnet now has no lacquer. Um, the wing's still really, that's really bad now on the wing, but at least with the other bonnet back on, it'll only be the wing that's got the problem instead of this massive bit at the front. So that one will go on to here, the new one will go on the Type R, and then I'm probably going to just try and sell this bonnet because I will double check, but even though the paint's wrecked, I think it's dint free. It's, I think it's dint free. So that's a plus. So I'll let you guys know if I'm uploading this and I've still got this bonnet available if you do want to contact me, if you do want to purchase it. If not, I've already told you it's been sold. Either way, right, let's crack on, get some bubble wrap in the car and um, off we go. Right guys, so we're here now. The bonnet's already in the boot, so I'll show you that when we get home. It fits quite nicely actually in the diesel. I thought it was gonna be a bit of an angle to fit in, but it literally, it just shows you how big the boots are in these cars. But this obviously isn't mine. This is Lee's. Uh, and you've you've seen from the montage some of the some of the kit that he's got on this car, which is, it's pretty mental to be fair. So we're just gonna have a little bit of walk around, have a chat with him and um, talk about some of the stuff that's on it and then go home and chuck bonnets on, which you don't need to see. Right, so we've got Lee here. He's ready to go. He's, um, he's just gonna have a quick show yeah. of us inside so we Absolutely. can look inside. Because something I am very, I'm very envious about is the hybrid short shifter that you've got in. So how does that feel compared to originally? what you add in it. Massively different. I mean, the, the stock one, you kind of notice that you get a little bit of like a sloppiness feel between the shifts. Yeah, I know what you mean. And this takes that straight away. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And suddenly you feel like you've got more of a notch. You know you know when it's going into gear, you've got that more precision feel when you're putting it in, so. Yeah. Plus it looks mint. I'm gonna say, it looks it gorgeous, it. doesn't it? Um, as, as well with the steering wheel, did you, did you say you got that sent away to get re-trimmed? Yeah. Um, or do they do it and then you send yours off to them afterwards? Or? That's it, yeah. You, it, it was Royal Steering Wheels who did it for me. Yeah, yeah. And you 
basically you just do it through email. So you email them, tell them what you want, yeah, yeah. They'll give you a quote. Um, they might have some pictures on on, the, on their internet. Just tell them what you want. We'll make it, and then you send it them back, and they right. send you some money um, for for the steering wheel. So there you go. Well happy with it. Um, absolutely love it. No, it looks nice with the suede or well, Alcantara, as the kids say. <laughs> <laughs> but let's have a. Do you want to have a look under bonnet as well? Because yeah, sure. That's yeah. pretty mental as well. Got it popped ready for you. I'm gonna say you've you've only just installed the the catches, aren't you, on the new. Um, Take it with carbon bonnet. Yeah. Which looks great painted. I absolutely love them. I mean, as you know, our mutual friend Brett um, yeah. helped me fit these uh, a few weeks ago. Um, they're just keeping the carbon, fi carbon fiber bonnet down while it's on track. I'm going to say. And you've still got the latch as well, which I love. Extra security. I don't blame you, mate, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, I might remove it, I might not. Um, part of me wondered whether to get the ones with the uh, with the key in just so you can lock them. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. They're quite popular with people that want to get rid of the catch, but. I don't know, I figured I'd best go for them. They look a bit cleaner than the ones with the key. And obviously, you've got all the hybrid racing fuel rail and everything. And I love how, I've, well, I've already told you this before, but obviously these guys don't know. I love how you've gone with the bronze as well for the HKS, because you've got the same HKS intake as me. Yeah. And then you've got obviously all your dress-up bolts that match that as well, which is pretty cool. But talking of matching with the bronze, You've got these locomotion, uh, which are gorgeous wheels, um, and the mental brakes that we were discussing, like <laughs> how unbelievably overkill they are. A little bit, yeah, just a, just a little bit overkill. Um, but, but they stop like an absolute brick wall, don't they? Absolutely, yeah. They'll they'll, they'll stop you straight up from from any speed. Uh, yeah. You can do it multiple times, which is also the plus. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> say they're not gonna fade anytime soon. Will not die like the stock ones. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't say don't say things like that because I'm going on track with stock ones, but they've been rebuilt and we've got PBS pads, so we'll best, see how it goes. Best way to be, you've got the good fluid, so yeah, good fluid that's, as well, that's PBS the most fluid, thing. definitely. Um, and then you've got what what size are these? Your coma, the ADO8 RSs, um, which are like ren renowned for being awesome track tires, I think. Yeah, the, the sticky semi slick track tires, they're absolutely shocking in the rain. To be quite yeah, honest. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, not as good as the older ADO8R, but the uh, the RS is uh, it's up there. I'm gonna say they are, and they're lovely looking tire as well with the tread. Oh, a B has literally just knocked itself out on your car. Because um, I've got the um, the Goodyear Eagle F1, not the asymmetrics, Super, Sports. Super Sports. That's it. Yeah. Um, and they do the Super Sport GTs, but they are more like this, where yeah. it's a case of perfect in the dry, but wet conditions they lose it. Whereas I feel like I've got a bit of best of both worlds yeah. at the minute. Sounds but obviously good. these will these will outperform mine um, on track. We shall uh, we shall certainly find out. Yeah, I'm going to say because both me and Lee are both going on track um, at Mims at Croft, which I don't know what session you're on. To be fair, 2211, I believe. So you, I think you might be on one after me. Perhaps. So I've gone for earliest possible one because I always think early bird catches the worm. There's no numpties on. Uh, that's that's how I've done it. But yeah. it'd be good because then I can be off track filming you go past. So that's always cool. Even better, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get some nice, uh, nice videos from you guys. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And then obviously styling wise, body, we've got the Mugen wing, same as mine. Um, but we've got this lovely GP rear bumper with the Maxton like spats, shall we call them? Because obviously you don't go straight across. Um, but it looks awesome on the GP kit. You were saying you weren't. You felt a bit bad that it didn't go all the way across, didn't you? I were a little bit, a um, little bit concerned at first that they'd look a little bit too odd, especially with them being from a different manufacturer. They're a slight different colour from yeah, the, from the can, GP kit. It's hard to see on camera, but they are slightly lighter, I think, um, than the, than the GP kit black. But like I was saying to you earlier, unless you'd apply that out, I don't think you'd see it. Yeah, to absolutely, be fair. absolutely right. And they're going to end up being covered in soot anyway from the exhaust. So. Oh God, definitely, <laughs> definitely. It's not something uh, you really notice that much. No. And then the one, the one other thing I need to mention is the headlights, because these are these are really, really nice. And I think it's one, of, it's one of the things that you know, like you look at some people's cars and you're like, oh, that's such a such a car. Yeah. How are yours is I. I mean, even though the fact, even still the, the fact that you've got the standard grill, I think you don't see that often where you've got everything else and the grill's still standard, but it, it looks like your car. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, or are you, in think, are you in thinking of getting a new one? What I wanted to do was get something which had like a bit more of an OEM plus look. So yeah, yeah. not actually the same as a standard one. It's black instead of gray. 
So oh, right, okay. The, the edge of this is Nighthawk black, which matches with the GP kit. Yeah, fair enough. And so in the and so in the sun, you can yeah, you can really tell. And it just adds that subtle. It's fresh. That's that, that's the main thing. You see, it looks it looks brand new. Yeah. Well, the whole all the car looks brand new, as you can see. It is it is <laughs> brand new. I did I did actually buy it from Cox New. Uh, oh, there you go then. Parts about a year ago. But I like how it looks. How it matches with everything else. Yeah. It just gives that sort of OEM plus black and. Uh, yeah. Oh, they all like sense each other and then obviously for the inside of the lights are black as well which is cool and then you've got the halo led with this section here as well that led strip it just looks mean oh and the scoops as well oh you're just making me too jealous <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean it all complements each other it, yeah it all sets each other off and it all sort of matches yeah matches in a way exactly and, and that's sort of what i was going for i'd love to get these scoops but in white but i think you they come in in gloss black Often, you so do. I'd have to get them repainted. You can get them in bare fiberglass. So can you? You can get them in like a white and just paint them yourself if you wanted to. That'd be not, a, that'd be a thing. Not confident about it. I don't <laughs> know about that. <laughs> yeah, that's something to do, to think about and discuss. But other than everything else, mechanically, because obviously you've got it tuned by TDI North, haven't you? Yeah. So uh, Paul West, um, as probably a few of you know. Um, yeah. Most tune. FN owners know him, don't they? Yeah, he's, uh, he's quite big in the Honda tuning uh, community. Yeah. He's, uh, he's tuned this, it's running about 230 horsepower, give or take. Yeah. Going in a couple of weeks to have a map update. All right. Um, just, to, just to tie it up with, because this is a new engine, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, so this engine isn't the original engine that came in this car. Isn't it the third engine am i right <laughs> um yeah there's a uh, there's, there's a good story behind it and and, and those that know all uh yeah will really feel with me for this one yeah so originally quite a low miler engine um started uh You're like 55k weren't it something like that 40k 40k, 40K. it Jeez. might have been more like 45 uh, yeah 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 started knocking one day um i can't believe that like if you which i know a lot of people on the channel do have fn2s mm. You'll know how reliable these engines are. So, can you imagine the shock to Lee when he just finds out one day that his 45k engine just starts knocking, which is brutal, mate. You've gone through mill with this car. I have. <laughs> Started knocking, repaired it. Um, new engine, FD2 pump. Um, yeah. Put all this nice dress up stuff on it. About, I don't know, less than a month, it did it again. Exactly yeah. the same thing. So <laughs> now this is on the uh, now this is on its third engine. Third <laughs> engine. So, uh, oh dear, but hopefully this one's a keeper compared to the others. That's that's what I'm hoping for. It's um, it, it's running absolutely mint. I'm so happy with it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, just going for some another FD2 pump next week. Yeah. Because um, you're going baffled some, aren't you? I am. Yeah. Just uh, just for track safety, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll be I'll be just like uh, the oil will be very very full, and that's <laughs> that's all I'm gonna do at the time. Um, but yeah, that that'd be something nice down the line. It's something definitely. Um, safety wise you don't want to start your engine of oil obviously so that's right yeah I've, i mean that's that's most of the reason i'm having it i just don't mm. want to risk it yeah no i'm, I'm more power to you man so. uh, i think other than any everything else there is plenty of other stuff to mention about this car but that's just like a rough overall some of the cool stuff that, that lee's got on here and you'll probably see it a lot more um, as we go to more shows coming out of lockdown and going into the next um, year or so so yeah, thank you for showing me around. No worries at all. And uh, thank you for the lovely clean bonnet, which obviously, as you can tell from looking at his car, it's going to be just as nice as this. So I can't wait to get that on the Type R at home. So um, I'll leave that here. Say bye to Lee. No worries, and, thank uh, you for having me. No worries, <laughs> and I'll, I'll catch you at home when we get back. Right, so it's now actually Tuesday evening. That was Saturday that you've just seen the rest of the video. The bonnets have all been swapped over. So this is the bonnet on now. As you can see, it is a lot cleaner and a lot shinier than uh, the previous. And it's just one extra thing not to worry about and, and know that's a little bit cleaner on the car ready for when we do go to a show next and when which is probably the next one is going to be mims at, at croft so yeah massive thank you to lee for one not only showing us around his car but two for sorting me out with a decent bonnet and um, the other one the peely one is kind of just up for sale now if it's not sold yet i'll put in this video that it's not sold yet contact me if you want if you if you're interested in, in purchasing it it's all peeled as you know paint wise 
but it's straight as an arrow there's no dents so that's a plus but i'm gonna end the video here now guys so thank you so much for watching i'm being blinded by the sun um, and if you did enjoy this video or any of my videos please like subscribe and click the little bell button so it reminds you when a fresh video does come on until next time guys like i always say enjoy the rest of your day